I'm a people person. I'm far more comfortable getting out and about, talking to staff and meeting people than I am being holed up in my office. Although this might also be down to a profound dislike of paperwork. I'm also a huge fan of celebrating human achievement. People are capable of amazing things. I've always believed that. A story I heard about one of our members has made me believe it even more. Brian, 70-year-old retired teacher, has just celebrated his 1,000th session at the gym since suffering a heart attack eight years ago. He's become a regular face at the center, working out for 90 minutes at least three times a week, his sessions involving time on the treadmill, bikes and rowers, as well as leg extensions, bicep curls, shoulder presses and wall push-ups. Having never been a gym-goer, it ISNT like Brian simply returned to old habits. Instead, he created a new reality by, quite literally, taking it one step at a time, building on his cardiac rehabilitation program to set himself new exercise goals. Brian's achievements are brilliant. To come back from such a significant health hurdle and not only recover, but excel, is inspirational. A recent U.S. project, involving 70 to 90-year-olds, found that adding just one extra hour a of moderate exercise to a weekly routine significantly reduces the likelihood of developing mobility disabilities. Another report, published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine, has revealed that moderate exercise aerobic and strength three times a week improves cognitive functions such as memory, attention and task performance in the over 50s. The message is clear. Age is no barrier to exercise, indeed, it is a reason to embrace it. So why don't we? The reality is that, we see Brian, a gym regular in his 70s, as an exception to the rule, that the rule being that as we age, aches, pains and the natural wear and tear we all can buy, means we are less able to be physically fit and enjoy exercise. So we don't do any. In fact, earlier this year, Public Health England revealed that 41% of adults aged between 40 and 60 walk less than 10 minutes continuously each month at a brisk pace. Things need to change. When is the NHS going to start talking, and I mean having serious conversations, with people like Brian to ask them one simple question how did you do that the answer could make a massive difference as it could help establish a new set of rules where Brian is a trendsetter and not a statistical anomaly. I'm all for it. And not simply because of external evidence. I turned 50 this year. I can't lie, it's a milestone I approached with some degree of trepidation. But while it may have prompted me to view many things a little differently, my own reflection in the mirror for one, something that never even crossed my mind was easing off the exercise, the reason being that exercise helped me overcome adversity to get to 50 in the shape I'm in. A little over two years ago, I was diagnosed with two conditions arterial fibrillation and an arterial flutter. Basically, my heart was beating way too fast even when resting and also out of rhythm. The diagnosis resulted in two significant operations. I could have thought and according to modern perceptions probably should have thought cut down on running and my active lifestyle. I didnt. Instead, I decided to trust in the benefits of physical activity. I did a little more each day and the more I did, the stronger and more mentally relaxed I felt. Fast forward to this year. My 50th WASNT the only thing I celebrated, I also qualified for and competed in the European Masters Athletics Championships. I'm not comparing my situation to Brian's, but I do recognize in his story a common thread. Both of us are where we are today because of making a personal commitment to exercise. Staying active will be different for everyone. No two individuals are the same and it is important that people find whatever form of exercise they enjoy and a level they feel comfortable with. But the health benefits are universal. What's needed is a national realization that getting older and staying active don't have to inversely related a rule change. As I mentioned earlier, people are capable of amazing things. Wouldn't it be fantastic if one of those amazing things was deciding to approach aging a little differently? Come on NHS, have a chat with people like Brian and take a different approach to get things changing. Thanks to exercise he, like me, would certainly say age is just a number it's not a sentence to forced an activity.